Hello there, my name is Lisa Werrimo from Lockwood Girls High School, Form 3. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleagues are Shalini Madesi, Shivain Taylor. Today we will be discussing reproduction in plants. Now, it, reproduction is the process by which mature individuals produce offspring. There are two types of reproduction, namely sexual production and asexual reproduction. Now, sexual reproduction involves fusion of the male and female gametes to form a zygote. And asexual reproduction involves parts of mature organisms developing into new individuals. Some of the hypotheses of reproduction are 1. Procreation 2. It improves the quality of members in a species 3. It increases the number of organisms in a species 4. It brings about formation of seed spores and larvae which reduce intraspecific competition and 5. It involves the development of resistant stages in life cycle of various organisms making them capable to withstand period of drought. Now we move on to cell division. Life in, life, life in living organisms starts as a single cell, a spore or a zygote. In multicellular organisms, the cell divides into two and continues to divide in the same way. In unicellular organisms, the cell divides into two separate daughter cells. The cell division starts with the division of the nucleus, i.e. the chromosome and the cytoplasm. Chromosomes. In the nucleus, there are a number of long red leg structures called chromosomes. Each cell normally, normally has a fixed number of chromosomes. Each chromosome is made up of two parallel strands called chromatids. Each pair of chromatids is connected at one point by the centromere. Now I will illustrate how a chromosome fits. Now here we have the centromere. And here we have the chromatids. Now each pair of chromosomes has a characteristic length. The number the member of each pair is called a homologous chromosome. This means that the chromosomes are, are alike in appearance, although their genetic composition may be different. Along the length of the chromosome is a series of structures called genes. These are too small to be even seen by a powerful microscope. They determine the characteristics of the cell and its progeny. Genes are made up, are made up of a protein chemical called DNA. The sequence of events leading to cell division in plants and animal cells is basically the same. There are two types of cell division, that is, mitosis and meiosis. Um, we are going to discuss mitosis and meiosis. These are the two types of cell division. Mitosis, we are going to start with mitosis. Mitosis, it occurs in the somatic, which is also called the body cells. The number of chromosomes in the daughter cells remains in the same as that of the mother cell and the mitosis it is divided into four phases which I'm going to discuss them on the board. The first phase of mitosis we have interface We have prophase, we have metaphase, we have anaphase, and last 
lastly we have telophys. These are the faces that undergoes mitosis. In interface, I'm just going to illustrate a small diagram. Here, these are the chromosomes. And then we have the centriole. Then we have the nuclear, nucleolus, sorry. And then we have the nuclear membrane. Now this is the interface, this is the first stage of mitosis. We also have the second stage, which is the process. When we come to the, okay, in the interface, the multiplication of genetic material, the multiplication of genetic material so that daughter cells will have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Then the synthesis of new organelles such as Golgi apparatus, centrioles, mitochondria, nucleus, ribosomes. Then build up of enough energy stores in form of ATP to drive the cell via the entire process. So that is interface. We go to process, whereby I'll also demonstrate using a diagram. second stage of mitosis. This is whereby This is the second stage of mitosis. This is the prophase whereby we have the centriole. These are the spillon fibers. We have the spinal fibers, then we have the chromosomes. A 
a seeming interface. Now we can see that the chromosomes are just in thread like, but now we can see that they are in pairs. Yeah, this is the prophase. In prophase, the duplicate centrioles in animal cells separate and move to opposite poles of the cell and spindle fibers begin to form. These are the spindle fibers which have begun to form. The nuclear membrane begins to break down while the nucleolus disappear. In the first in interface, we had a we had the nucleolus, but as seen here, we don't have any nucleolus. Then the chromosomes shorten and thicken and become visible under the light mi microscope. As I've explained, the chromosomes they thicken so that they can be become visible under the light microscope. Each chromosome is now seen to contain two strands of chromatids joined together at the central end. This is the central end. Then we have the metaphase and the pro the metaphase. When we come to the metaphase, when we come to the metaphase, now the spindle fibers they join together at the inside like that, and then the chromosomes appear at the equator. Of the spin of fibers. That is the metaphase. And then the anaphase, this set, these chromatids, they start to move apart from each other whereby it's Now, from the now we are at the anaphase, whereby the chromatids have separated themselves, forming substances like this. They are starting to move toward the north pole and the south pole of each spindle fiber. Yeah, this is the anaphase. Yeah, this is the anaphase. Then we come to the telophase. At the telophase, this is whereby two daughter cells are formed. It's going to form something like this. This shows that the chromatids have already moved to the not but yeah the chromatids they have moved to the northern part and then we have a nuclear membrane again whereby they are usually underneath in Inside this, this is a nuclear membrane, and these are the these chromosomes which move to the equator. So after this, it goes back to the interface. These are two beta cells. After the two beta cells have been formed, they go back to the interface. The process repeats itself. When you come to meiosis. Meiosis, it takes place in the reproductive organs during gamete formation in animal in organisms. It gives rise to four reproductive cells, which are the gametes, each within half the chromosome number of the plant cell. Now in meiosis, we still have the same stages. We still have the same, the same stages, but they occur in two phases, whereby we have meiosis 1 which the which the cells occurs in one one phases and we have meiosis 2 where the cell division occurs in two phases uh,
Now we go to asexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, we have four types of asexual reproduction. We have the binary fission in microorganisms such as protactista. An example of a protactista is amoeba. The second one is budding in yeast. The third one is spore formation in fungi, rhizopus species. The fourth one is fragmentation in some aquatic annelid worm, like rings around them. Um, I will explain one, which is the budding in yeast. In budding in yeast, there is an outgrowth development from a mature yeast cell. The nucleus divides into two and the outgrowth detaches itself from the parent cell as an individual. This is a continuous process. We have come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I've been Lisa Wairimo, Shalin Malese, Shireen Taylor, Kipi Telimo TV, Watch and Learn.